Okay, everybody, <clears throat> here we go with turn number one, and we start with Phil. So he's going to move in with his fire axe, he's going to smash open the door, which is uh, creates some sound, and now we have to spawn. So we're going to start spawning in this room. One walker. That room. We've got nothing. This room. Two walkers. And Finally, that room. Oh shit! We got uh, one fatty, and with him comes two walkers. So already we're in the cack. So that's two goes for Phil. He's got a pistol, so he's going to use his pistol, which is one dice. To get a four or more and hopefully he can take out one of those zombies he didn't he got nothing so that didn't work out too good we now have El Cholo he's got two machetes so he can go in and take out walkers but he's only got uh, he's only got three actions, so it'll take him one to move forward, and then it'll take him another one to move in the room, and a third one to hopefully take out something, but he's going to leave himself vulnerable. So he's going to trade with Ned, he's going to give Ned a crowbar. That's one action. Second action is to move in. We now have Wanda. She's got a pistol, so she's going to have one go to move in. And she's going to have two chances now to take out some of these zombies. So that's one gone. Two gone. Yay, Wanda. So those two are brown bread. She shot twice. So it's two noise tokens. And she goes up to two on her experience. So that was good from Wanda. We now have Ned with his newly acquisitioned crowbar. And he's just going to move up ready to do some damage as well. Actually, to that's two moves. Third move is going to go there. Second move is there. So he's gone one, two, third action. He's going to search. And we have to keep pulling out till we get a weapon. Well, he's got a fire axe anyway. So Ned has the fire axe. <coughs> that ends the survivors go. So, not too bad. Pulled out a fatty, but, you know, El Cholo can take out the fatty, hopefully. So we now have a zombie phase, which is attack and move. They can't do it, so out they come. That's the movement phase over. We now have spawn, and we will go in that direction. So we've got that one first, one walker, I have to remember to keep my eye out for spawning in the manholes. We now go for that top point, that's two walkers, and 
and finally that spawn zone which is just one walker so that hasn't turned out too bad first phase over and now clean up so move all the noise tokens and we move this down to El Cholo so without further ado we'll go straight into it now El Cholo's got two machetes so he's obviously hopefully he gets two dice to get a four or more and he can take out the fatty because machetes have got a hit value of two he's done it BAM fatty's gone he only gets one experience for a fatty so he still has two more actions uh, his second action is going to move there third action is to search the car so it's the first weapon uh, but that's come up so that's the only way um, when searching cars um, he has to go for a weapon but because he's pulled that out that means that comes out immediately which is a walker so we've now got a bit of a problem so we've got Wanda to go she's got a pistol but she can't shoot at the zombie with Ocholo because she'll hit El Cholo or Ned so what she's going to have to do is hopefully stay here and try and shoot these, she's got three chances she gets one dice to get a four or more that's one gone <laughs> so she's managed to wipe out both the walkers she's getting two sound and she's now gone up to four she has one action left so she's gonna move in for that final action we now have Ned and there's Ned over there Ned has a fire axe and a crowbar so um, doesn't really matter which one he uses it's both one dice with a four or more again it's a melee weapon so he doesn't attack El Cholo so here he goes he's going to use the crowbar because it's silent and he's got it so Ned gets a kill goes up to one so that's his first action second action he's going to search don't forget keep going till you get a weapon and he's got a katana and he's going to exchange that in his backpack crowbar put the crowbar at the back and that is all that Ned is doing we now have Phil is Phil sitting here nice and pretty Phil has a pistol and a fire axe so for his first action he's going to move in and he's going to shoot at this guy so he gets two chances now to get a four or more he's done it so that zombie has gone there's also a noise token there Phil goes up to one That was his second action. Third action is he's going to search. He's got plenty of ammo. Uh, so that means if he gets a sawn off, he can re roll all his dice if he wishes. 
and that ends the survivor's phase <coughs> we now move on to zombie phase which is obviously movement for uh, attack but they can't so it's movement I'll try and do the movement a lot better this time as well last time um, I didn't quite get it right so as always we spawn there two walkers see if we can be lucky this time up in that area two more walkers and finally that zone there nothing So we just do a clean up phase and move El Cholo down to Wanda and that is how we go. That's the end of that round. The next video will be rounds three and four. So obviously we're now going to get um, one arrived there as a uh, survivor. So we're going to get an extra survivor coming into the mix. And that'll be quarter of the way through this scenario. Don't think I made any mistakes. So until next time, catch you later.